talking about the D and the D7 chord. So they are very, very similar. They both have string one open, they both have string two second fret, and they both have string four second fret. The D adds to that the string three second fret. So I want to start by having everyone create this D chord. Once again, that string one open, string two second fret, string three second fret, and string four second fret. You have to really smash these fingers together. You might have to stack them a little bit in front or behind each other. And then to switch from the D to the D7, we just lift that. There's D, there's D7, D, D7, D, D7. Now there are other ways to do the D and there are other ways to do the D7. Some people like to do the D7 this way. Um, some people call this thing that I'm calling a D7, like D Hawaiian 7 or D7 Hawaiian. Some people like to do the D where they take one finger and bend that knuckle so that it hits three strings at second fret and has the first string open, but then you can't switch from the D to the D7. And there's other ways where people use two fingers and overlap or twist them around. I'm not going to say any of those are wrong, but I'm saying that if you are learning how to go D and D7, where you have a quick and easy switch, you want to do it those ways. <laughs> 